sometimes we don't know our neighbors or if we know our neighbors we don't see them and talk to them on a regular basis and this is just a, a, at least one night a year you know that people intentionally say I'm going to no matter how busy I am I'm going to come out I'm going to uh, I'm going to be with my neighbors, I'm going to have some great ice cream and food and, you know, and see people and, and just be neighborly and be a community. Everybody gets a chance to meet new neighbors that they probably didn't know before and communicate with each other. Anytime you're able to bring the police and the community together um, in a positive environment, I think goes a long, long way, especially um, in today's environment, today's society, where maybe the police and the community's relationships aren't ideal in the eyes of many people, this gives all of us an opportunity to kind of help connect the dots, help bridge the gap. The people get to know each other, they get to know their neighbors real well, and for something like this, National Night Out, it's always a great chance for people to come out and, and meet people they didn't know and, and just kind of just hang out and visit, especially with the police here, the Columbia Police. And Not only giving out a lot of school supplies uh, to our youth in the community, but also it was really, really good and neat to see uh, different law enforcement agencies come together along with the community. I think that sends a, a strong, strong message to our communities uh, when it comes to offering a safer environment. Columbia, we're so strong in our neighborhoods. The great part about it is that you've got, you know, neighborhoods all over the city having National Night Out. Some neighborhoods coming together, so you're not just with the people in your neighborhood, but you're with people with adjacent neighborhoods. And so, to me, it's just a, a great night of community. Um, and, you know, what better way to spend a famously hot um, August <laughs> evening?